we're looking at our main display screen here when in the field, and we can see that we've got our auto contour menu selected as one of our previews for our display screen. The auto contour menu works in a couple of different ways. We can see here on the left hand side of our auto contour positioning. Now with class machines or with Lexian machines, we can save two auto contour heights. The arrow where the arrow is determined determines that one selected height. At the moment, you can only see the one arrow. However, if I was to move my cutter bar to a different position and I was then to press and hold the auto contour button on the joystick, this would then beep and save as a selected height. I would then have the option to select either the bottom height or the top height, depending on which green light has been enabled. To flick through the two settings, all I have to do is flick the auto contour button on my joystick and it will allow me to cycle between the one height or the secondary height. It's worth noting that on the auto contour menu, you can see the neutral ground position. This is displayed as the wavy line. Anything below the wavy line is that effectively the cutter bar is applying ground pressure and anything above the wavy line, the auto contour bands are used and are selected by the preset height. The auto contour height can also be displayed here. You can see currently that it's at 46. Obviously, as the cutter bar is raised in preset height or lowered, this number will either rise or lower. At the moment, because the cutter bar is in manual mode, you can't see a green auto contour light available. However, when we have auto contour selected, the menu will light up green and you'll see the menu itself light up. Additionally, we also have preset heights on our cutter bar itself. For example, if we came to the end of a row, we would lift using our preset height selection. These are displayed on the right hand side. Again, just like auto contour, we can have two saved settings for this mode. This is done by pressing the pre-select height button on our joystick, opposite to that of the auto contour button. Again, to cycle through the two modes, we just have to press the button a second time and we can cycle between the two modes. The mode that we have selected will be dependent on which arrow has lit up green. And again, to save this pre-selected height, all we have to do is press and hold the button. A little look into the front attachment settings now. We can click in through the Cebus menu submenus and we will see a various amount of menus brought up here. The first menu as an operator I like to check is the front attachment parameters menu. Here, I can ensure that my cutter bar has been selected correctly so that when I hook my cutter bar to the front of my feeder house and attach the umbilical cord, it will load in my correct cutter bar. Additionally, this is important because the depending on what cutter bar you have available to you will also depend on the settings available through Seedless. For example, the settings I have to my Vario cutter bar are going to differ to that of a Convio cutter bar. I also need to make sure my working width is set correctly. For example, if I have a 12.3 meter cutter bar, I need to ensure that this reads 12.3 meters. This is important because one, if I have a field scanner GPS system detected, it allows the field scanner to locate the edge of the cutter bar. And it's also important for that of my yield or telematics data to ensure that the cutter bar is to the correct width. We also have partial width adjustment available to us. This can either be done through the screen or more commonly done through that of the favorites menu. It's important to adjust our partial widths. For example, if I'm taking in a full cutter bar, this will be set to 12. However, if I'm taking half a cutter bar's run, maybe in the end of a field or an off cut, I need to set this down to six. This will then give us an accurate yield data when we come to our telematics. Further down the screen, we have access to auto contour settings. These settings are going to allow us to adjust that of the sensitivity of our auto contour bands. So if we find that our cutter bar is reacting too frequently to the ground conditions and it's creating almost a very unevil stubble texture, then I can come in and adjust the sensitivity of either my lift or lower of the cutter bar or my angle adjustment side to side of the cutter bar. I can also adjust the sensitivity of my manual lift and lower based off the key on the joystick. Again, if I increase the sensitivity of the lift, my cutter bar is going to lift faster when I manually operate it and vice versa for when I lower, my cutter bar is also going to lower quickly. 
The drop rate is just the auto contour drop rate. So when I click the auto contour setting, this will determine how quickly my cutter bar moves into the auto contour position. Again, if I increase the sensitivity or increase the percentage, it's going to drop quicker. Or if I go to a negative figure, it's going to drop slower. And finally, we can see the auto contour ground pressure. So this is the amount of pressure which is being exerted onto the ground by our cutter bar before it maxes out. Again, this is a factory setting and is recommended to not be changed. Next, into the settings of my front attachment, we can see the setting of my current auto contour setting. Again, adjustable through that of my favorites key or through the settings menu. And I can also see the adjustment of my Vario table because I have a Vario header selected. Going down, I can also then see the likes of my reel adjustments, be that my reel speed or my reel offsets. And again, these are available through the settings menu. More commonly are found in that of the favorites menu, which I can then adjust on the go using the favorites key and then the toggle on the rear of the joystick. And finally, you can see the cross leveling value. Again, if I have my cutter bar at a different cross leveling length or adjustment, and I want to know what this adjustment is, I can see the readout percentage for the cross leveler. Going into my automatics function now for Vario, I can see the likes of my automatic reel speed and my automatic positioning. So for example, if I have an auto contour setting saved and I want my reel height to be adjusted, so I may have one auto contour setting height for normal crop and then a secondary auto contour setting saved for laid crop, I can move my reel down into position, save this setting, and this will automatically detect where my reel is so that it will preload that setting every time I select auto contour. I also have a reel speed adjustment. So the faster I am cutting in my Lexian, the faster my reel will go. And additionally, the slower I'm cutting, the slower my reel will go. These obviously can be enabled or disabled by pressing the button. If it's green, it's enabled. If it's gray, it's disengaged. My Vario automatics work the same way my real automatics work. So if I have a saved position for my Vario table, be that very close to the table auger or very far out, I can save that Vario setting. And again, as I press my auto contour button, that's going to save the mode. This also works the same way for the cross leveling adjustment. For my Vario cutter bar or for my cutter bar in general, I also have some learning procedures that I can learn. These are recommended to do at the beginning of every season. And then if required, they can also be carried out during the season as well. They can all be found in one location, so we're not having to go around different menus searching for them. And finally, I can adjust the working position value for my cutter bar. So when I'm loading in telematics data, when my machine is recording a working value or a working area, I can preset the area that that value loads in at. So for example, if I want my loading or my working value to come in when my cutter bar is very low, I can adjust the sensitivity down. And additionally, if I'm cutting a higher crop or a higher stubble, and I want my automatic working position to be loading higher up, I can increase this value. That's just a brief overlook at all of our front attachment settings when using the Vario cutter bar.